Today on the CTV News at 5, some High River flood evacuees staying in Lethbridge like the city so much, they're moving here. Plus, campgrounds are booked up for the August long weekend. And it must run in the family. I'm excited for it. I don't know what it's going to be like, but uh, I can only imagine that good things can come. The story of three brothers all playing soccer for Lethbridge College. CTV News with Jackie Scandlebury. Good afternoon. Over the past month, more than 200 High River flood evacuees called Lethbridge their home away from home. But a few of them have grown so fond of our city, they've decided to make it their permanent place of residence. Jeanette Rocher has the story. Gertie Jean-Baptiste says she's looking for a fresh start. I think we are going to stay here in Lethbridge and start new. For the past month, the single mother and her four children have been staying at the University of Lethbridge residence, while their home in High River has been sitting underwater. Our house received a few feet of sewage, and so it was labeled an orange. And uh, but you know we we will have the opportunity to go back there, but I've made the decision not to go back there. In an unexpected turn of events, Gertie and her kids have grown to love Lethbridge and are now planning to stay. She's registered for the fall semester at the U of L and is hoping to get her teaching degree. I think this is a really great school. I'm planning on going here too myself. Gertie's 14-year-old son Deshaun will be entering high school this fall, while his brothers and sister will be going into grades two and four. It's kind of sad because I have to leave all my friends behind, but um, then again, I get to make new friends, get a new house, and you know, new school and everything. And it's a similar story for Carolyn Pittman, who was evacuated from her High River home in June. Well, we found out that we could get uh, lodging and food here. So we came here for to stay at the university. And, and then while we were here, we decided to stay here because we didn't want to go back there because it was such a mess in High River. Pittman says she's already found a place to live in Lethbridge and hopes to get involved in seniors events here. As for Gertie and her kids, they moved out of the dorms and will temporarily stay in a Calgary hotel with the rest of the High River residents who left this week before she returns to Lethbridge to secure a home. It's definitely a closed chapter. You know, we're starting again, and I think Lethbridge will be great. Jeanette Roche, CTV News, Lethbridge. Many of the remaining High River residents who left Lethbridge this week are still unclear how long they'll be staying in Calgary hotels before moving into more permanent housing. Long weekend's almost here. Everyone wants to know. Dory, what's the forecast got in store? Absolutely. Well, we're going to get a little bit of a soaking first, but then the rest of the weekend's looking pretty good. Uh, when we talked about it a couple of days ago, it looked like the entire weekend was going to be under clouds and shower activity. That is not the case now. Yes, we are seeing uh, watches and warnings for heavy rainfall being posted, but they won't be with us for very long. We'll tell you all the details in a couple of minutes. Thank you, Dory. And Dory's going to have more on the long weekend forecast coming up. But there is a rainfall warning issued for the southwestern part of the province in effect now. Cardston, Fort McLeod, McGrath, as well as the Crow's Nest Pass, Pincher Creek, Waterton Lakes Parks National Park, and communities in between could see anywhere from 50 to 70 millimeters of rain tonight into tomorrow morning. Regardless of the forecast this weekend, if you're planning on camping out at Park Lake this weekend, you're out of luck. The local campsite is completely booked for the upcoming long weekend. Many of the campers here are either leaving today or tomorrow because the sites have been booked by other campers for weeks. With rain in the forecast, many may have to spend their weekend inside, but the threat of rain won't stop these campers from enjoying their time in the great outdoors. Well, we are going to go swing shine with our new swing shots. We're going to make a giant fire with sticks, cardboard, fun. Yeah, I'm going to go uh, to Raymond and uh, come back here and corn maze. We're going to do a pirate themed and a uh, pirate themed day and have a pinata and eat s'mores. That sounds pretty fun. 
Other campsites in the area include, of course, St. Mary's Reservoir, Ridge Park, and Grandview in Granham if you're looking to head out to the country for the weekend. The Lethbridge Fire Department is sending out a reminder about water safety heading into the August long weekend. The city's water rescue team will be patrolling the Old Man River for the rest of the summer. They say it's important to have a float plan if you plan on spending time on the water, which includes telling people where you're going, how many people you're with, and when you'll be back. The fire department says it's also important to remember the river has changed a lot since last summer. Uh, our river and all moving water, uh, you have to be aware of uh, moving currents, undercurrents, uh, you also have to be conscious of the temperature of the water so that if you were to fall in, uh, you're not going to get cold and hypothermic. Uh, there's debris bo floating both on the water and under the water, and right now the water's still got quite a bit of silt in it, so it's very difficult to assess what's underneath the water. Fire officials say floaters should bring a flashlight, a cell phone, and a life jacket, and they're also reminding you it's illegal and unsafe to drink alcohol while in the river. The name of the Lethbridge Airport is going to be changing this afternoon. The county agreed to change the name from Lethbridge County Airport to Lethbridge Airport. And it looks like a downtown eyesore in Lethbridge will be around a little longer. Demolition of the atrium building on 7th Street South has been pushed back a month. Work was originally anticipated to start at the beginning of this month and wrap up mid-September. But it looks like that's when demolition is actually going to start. The city says by the time the demo contract was officially awarded, the contractor, EnviroCon, had already taken on other work. The demolition is expected to cost $390,000. The original developer abandoned the project 30 years ago, and since then other plans for the site have also fallen through. Well, there were both cheers and jeers to mark the one-year anniversary of Ottawa's move to scrap the Canadian Wheat Board's grain marketing monopoly. Today, Ag Minister Jerry Ritz celebrated the government's decision with producers in Penn, Saskatchewan. Ritz says most farmers are happy with marketing freedom. Prices are up and sales have increased to both Japan and China. But opponents of the change are telling a different story. The Regina-based Canadian Wheat Board Alliance says a year after the change, it's clear the farmers are no longer receiving full value for their grain. If you're considering not having children, it turns out you're not alone. Today is National Non-Parents Day, and according to statistics, it's becoming a growing trend for women to choose not to have children. Nearly 250,000 Canadian women are childless by choice, and in the future, that's expected that 40% of North American women will make the decision not to have a baby. Jillian Ayers is a researcher at the University of Lethbridge who did her master's thesis on the subject. She studied 21 Southern Alberta women ranging in ages from 21 to 59 who have chosen to remain childless and says the research resonated with her. Yes, I identify as childless by choice. I grew up in Southern Alberta, so growing up in and seeing girls I went to high school with get married and have many children and that just wasn't for me and I thought are there other people out there who, who don't want children are, and what are their experiences? Some of the reasons that uh, the people decided not to have children were financial, career and educational goals as well as unrealistic expectations of motherhood. The University of Lethbridge is taking part in a national research program to better understand the effects of homelessness. U of L researcher Yale Belanger is looking into how homelessness can adversely affect the well-being of those impacted by it. This information is becoming more relevant because of the devastating flooding that hit southern Alberta last month. The, girl of the, uh, the goal of the observatory on homelessness is to develop best practices and make them publicly available. According to the State of Homelessness in Canada report, Lethbridge had 99 people without a permanent roof over their head. Well, New West Theatre is shifting gear with their newest presentation. Coming off their successful country gold, Songs of the Prairie Grass production, New West Theatre is back at work creating their next musical review show, Cut Loose. will showcase music from the Roaring Thirties to popular music today. The evening performance will be full of live music from four different bands to create all the different genres. Organizers say they're ready to raise the curtain. We'll pick a selection of songs, uh, and then some of the songs uh, we put our own little spin on. So, uh, you know, Paul got his hands on a particular Lionel Richie classic, and uh, what you're going to see is a bunch of actors singing it, moving around to it, but also supplying all the percussion instrumentation at the same time. It's, uh, it's pretty awesome. 
we have a lot of classics and uh, I think the music is really terrific. Um, I think everyone will know every song and there's some fabulous old gems and, and some definitely good ones and there's some rock out rock tunes so it's good. Tickets are available through Ticketmaster by calling 403-329-SEAT or you can pick them up at any box office location in Lethbridge. Time now for a look at how the markets kicked off the month of August.